This video is edited in Hiflim Express in line with the philosophy of eating your own dog food. This is Hiflim Express, the screen that you will see. And let's jump straight into the tutorial and let me get out of the way. Let's go and start on new. Takes you to the projects uh, setting. Okay, you can actually set the template 720p, 1080p, 2K, 4K. Let's go on something standard like 1080p at 29.97 frames per second. You can leave the rest alone. If you want more information, I have some tutorials that covers this in greater detail. All right, so let's uh, import some media. This is actually your media bin. So I'm just going to go to my projects and import some nice looking things all into my media bin here, okay? As you can see, you are, there are all the thumbnails. It's a little bit small because my screen is small. <laughs> okay, let's do the listing. This is the list. If you select one of these, uh, this is the trimmer. You can just trim your video clips if it's too long. Say, move it here. Set the in point. Maybe here, set the out point. And then just drag this onto your editor timeline. Okay, let's uh, shorten this a bit. A bit too big. Alright, so this is your editor timeline. You can zoom in. Let's pick another video clip here. Let's do the dog thing. Okay. Cute puppy. Let's bring this in here. And so now you have a puppy on bright Wonderful day. Boost. Okay. So that's that. This is your Vivo window. There are also buttons here for you to set your in and out points. Okay. And on the right here is your audio meter. It's very soft. So you probably can't hear anything. And um, if you have louder music, you can do that. Let's import my audio there. So when it's, an, when it's an audio clip, you see the audio waveform. You can drag this over here. And you can see that. Uh, lions. Uh, okay, so that's your audio wave. Okay, let's go back to the cute doggy. All right, so uh, adding transition is very simple. Let's go to the effects and go to video transitions. Let's do something interesting. Okay, let's do a lean clockwise. Put it between your video clip. And you have a transition. You can adjust it to make the transition go slower. Wonderful boost. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's do some motion blur. All right. That's Wonderful boost. Be cool. You may not think that way. All right, and uh, trimming your clip is pretty simple. You can actually just move it here, drag it, and you have a trim clip. Remember to rip to delete the gap. Okay, you can also <coughs> do cuts using this slice tool. Cut this. Now you have a different section here. All right, adding some text. I'm sure that's what you want to know. Let's add some text here. To do that, click on make a composite shot. Okay, just leave it everything. Click on OK and click on this and start typing. Hi, doggy. Okay. To make the text bigger, all you need to do is you can go here and make the text bigger, change the colors, say change it to blue, All right? Let's move it on. And you hear that have that transition over there. All right, so you can move it around. And there you have text. Uh, uh, there's another way to make text, right? And by creating a composite shot over at the media uh, versus com creating a composite shot over uh, the clip itself, okay, by clicking on new composite shot. So as you can see, the composite shot is this way, all right? And this composite shot actually follows that video clip, all right? So that is with creating titles. Now I'm going 
pretty quick on this uh, because uh, I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, if you want my step-by-step -step tutorials, you can check them out. Okay, and the links below. I'm going to show you how to do some keyframes. Go to transform. Let's go to opacity. Here, you're going to set a keyframe. The opacity is at zero. And over here, you're going to have a hundred percent. Okay, so let's see what happens. Wonderful boost. Okay, and let's do the reverse for this clip here. So here, select the clip. Let's do opacity. Opacity here is zero. And somewhere here, let's set the opacity at a hundred percent. So let's look at this again. Wonderful boost. Okay, so that's how you do keyframing. All right, and exporting. Once you are done with your text, with your transition, click on export. There are two things to export. You can export the in and out area or the contents. Uh, if you export the in and out area, it will depend on you setting the in and out area with these points. Let's do this. Let's set the out point as here. Set this as out. This area goes dark. And this clip is only 13 seconds long. So as you export, you see the duration is 13 seconds long. You can change your export uh, settings, whether you want 720p, YouTube 180, 1080p. Let's do that. And you can also change the name here. Okay, so when you are ready, just click on start exporting and you will see a preview window. Okay, and if you slide this over here, you will see the start time, elapsed time, how much time is expected to export your video clip. Let's suspend the operations and go back to the edit screen. So what do I think of Hitfilm Express? I think that Hitfilm Express is a pretty good uh, free video editing software. It has everything, keyframes, effects. And uh, however, this is the free version. There is actually a paid version. And the difference is in some of these uh, settings here. There could be more. Uh, let's for example, take a look at these settings here. Transitions, all right? So when once you see this add-on, which means you need to purchase that add-on, okay? So you need you all need all you need to do is buy the necessary add-ons that you need. You don't need to buy uh, everything. So it is a freemium model. Um, you can do multi-track editing. You can do chroma key and green screen. Pretty powerful as well. And uh, in terms of uh, learning, uh, it may be a little bit steeper learning curve if you are new to video editing. And you have uh, you have come from let's say a very basic software like Movie Maker or something that is more um, consumer rather than a professional level. Uh, here, HitFilm is actually a little bit more on the professional uh, side, so you need a little bit more time to get the hang of it. Okay, for people who are used to video editing or who has not so scared about all the software things i think it's actually not that long it doesn't take that long to actually pick that up so thanks for watching this video check out my tutorials if you want me to cover things in greater details uh, the links are below thanks for watching until the next time this is james bye bye